My name is Peyton Hood, and I will be talking about Ravenstein's laws of migration. Basically, what these laws are saying is that why or is why people move, what happens when they move, and who moves. All the people that are interviewed fall under at least one of these laws that he made. First is Arch Hood. He moved because his family was in search of a better life, which falls under the economic migration, is the main reason for migration. That's one of the laws that Ravenstein made. Second, Karen. She moved a relatively short distance compared to others, which is one of Ravenstein's laws. Most migrants move only a short distance. She moved from Canada, Canada to the United States, which isn't, which isn't that far, but it's relatively, it's relatively close compared to some of the others who may move from Asia or Europe. Uh, next is Ira. She moved from the United or she moved to the United States to get the education she had hoped for, which was to attend Florida University. And that fits in with the law that states most immigrants move for economic reasons, which education fits underneath that. Um, next is Clark Brammer. He moved to the United States because he had heard from other family members about the opportunities they had if they moved to the United States. He moved because of the pull factor that was the opportunities that it had in the United States. Um, the final is Kyle. He moved from Japan because his family was not in the best situation. They lived in a um, rough area and they needed to get out of there and try again like on a new life. So they found the United States to be a great spot for them. And they used the law that says that there is a state of dispersion, which they used that to find the best spot that they needed to live in.